My name is Felicia. You may know that, well, I was one of the last owners of his phone. Unless you were me, and, well, you're listening to this from the future. So I want to know when these parents are going to do something with their gremlins so that there's not so much of this daggone bullying. Clearly, bullying today is a lot different than bullying of yesterday. The issue is, again, in my opinion, is that the Internet opens you up to be embarrassed by the world. So while we definitely, definitely <laughs> have an issue with people, people doing masses in schools, and no one seems to want to do anything about that, where's that outrage? People should be in the streets about these masses. Why? If you can't figure out what's going on with the generation, what is it? Z. Zip them up, toss them out. What do people think is about to happen with A? First of all, they're living in it. Seeing what's going on, taking it in. Is anyone parenting them? Yep. Devices. TikTok, YouTube, whatever the heck else they watch. They on the phone, iPad, whatever else they got. And people think that the algorithm don't change. The algorithm changes all the time. Parents just think that it's just bluey. I don't know what the heck they watch, that they're watching. And as they scroll and they're into shorts and stuff real quick, and they move on to the next, to the next, to the next. That's going to be a problem later. That's going to be a problem later. Then people want to blame the schools and the teachers. And as soon as you say something to a brat, parents up there saying, leave my kid alone. Teachers got to be worried about what's going to happen to them and their students. They don't get paid enough. These are the people that you want to teach your kid their ABCs, one, two, threes, algebra, world history, black history, Asian history, every history, know everything in the freaking world, but you won't even get your brat, your gremlin to leave other people alone, to sit that ass down and be still, to have some respect. The most important people. The most important people are these children. And people are acting like they're just a freaking plant in the daggone windowsill. Until it gets too big and you got to do something with it. By that time, what you going to do? Act like you're going to do something to something that you ain't been parenting, taking care of, disciplining, teaching? I don't know. I don't know. This is just freaking ridiculous. Rest in peace to this baby. An 11-year-old New Jersey girl died by self-deletion in her school bathroom. Just days after her detective dad's death from cancer. And a week after her mom, oh, I'm sorry, and a week after her mom said she had emailed school officials that she was being bullied. So I'm sure with the bullying and then her dad on top of it is, she's only 11. They can only really handle so much at the end of the day. 
It's like life's pressures of the real world are on these kids and no one seems to give a damn. The sixth grade student identified by her mom as Felicia Menlendez was found unresponsive inside a bathroom stall by another student around one on February the 6th at whatever the school is in Mount Holly. Hutt was immediately sought from staff members and life saving measures were taken by school officials, police and emergency medical technicians. Oh, Lord, look at this baby. Mm, mm, mm. Listen to her voice. She sounds like she's just as innocent as all get out. The student was taken by ambulance to a local hospital and then transferred to Children's Hospital Philadelphia, CHOP, shout out to them, where she was pronounced deceased on February the 8th. An autopsy performed by the medical examiner determined that the sixth grade girl died from self-deletion. An investigation into the student's um, death by the Burlington County Prosecutor's office, which included a review of the school surveillance cameras, determined that she was alone in the restroom when this tragic action occurred. No foul play was involved in her death. Felicia's death came shortly after her dad, New Jersey Transit Detective Alexis Melendez. Alexis Melendez died of pancreatic cancer on January 25th. And about a week after, she emailed school officials that she and her friends were being bullied. Mm, mm, mm. Is this enough to... to protect the other kids and to get at the bullies now because if she said her and her friends then that means that there's other people that's still potentially being bullied because if anyone thinks that these people care meaning these gremlins care once something tragic happens to one person that they was messing with i don't think they care i just don't think they care they probably on tiktok somewhere in a group chat or something Still clowning. Mm, mm, mm. She herself had written numerous emails to the administration detailing the events, yet no one was ever questioned. Her mom told NewJersey.com, they have swept under the rug the bullying that she and so many other kids in school have encountered, and now they're doing the same with this investigation. A month before her death, Felicia proposed to school officials in an email that they launch a trauma club, wow, which students could use as a safe space to discuss stressors. Oh, look, she was creative. She said, how about you create a club in the school called the Trauma Club? Does that not sound like you? Bring back Mr. Clark from Lean On Me. Where are the Mr. Clarks from Lean On Me so that they could come in here and get shit done, straighten people up, get out the riffraff? Where are the Mr. Clark principals of the world? They are in dire need. This little girl was basically saying what it was, reaching out, coming up with solutions, and no one helped her. But as soon as a degenerate person comes up about their gremlin, people will be pacifying that biatch with every fiber in their damn being. She quoted her daughter's email as saying, I was watching TV and thinking about things in my life that happened to me and I got a great idea. Instead of drama club, it would be a trauma club. I would help and provide as much as I can. She was also dealing with her dad. He may not have been deceased by that time. And I'm not saying that this is necessarily on the school. All I'm saying is, is that you got some kids out here that are really trying they're coming up with solutions. They're just trying to go to school, learn what they can, do what they're supposed to. And those kids are being pushed to the back due to gremlins. They all gremlins. I don't care what their race is. They all gremlins. If you are bothering someone else and you ain't in school for what you're supposed to be in school for, you're a gremlin. You out here on the streets doing things you ain't supposed to be doing, you're a gremlin. You out here taking crap that don't belong to you, you're a gremlin. You out here robbing, stealing, carrying on, deleting people, stealing stuff, cars. You a gremlin. Gremlin is not defined by race. It's defined by what the F it is that you're doing that you know damn well you shouldn't be doing. Because if these people thought it was right, they wouldn't run. They know. Miss me with the, what happened to them when they was younger. No. If you ain't standing there and waiting around 
If you're running and hiding, you know it's wrong. It would need a room that is not too big and not too small. We would need a couple of chairs too, but I hope this does happen. I, for one, have heard from my friends and others about things that have happened to them, and I think this would be a fantastic thing. Have a good night. Go Dragons, Alicia reportedly wrote. You got the babies trying to come up with solutions in this. Oh my God. This is such bullshit. In the February 24th tribute to her daughter, La Labo said, Felicia was a bright light who touched so many people. She was an old soul, wise beyond her short 11 years, which you can hear. You can tell. She's 11 talking about a trauma club. Unfortunately, Felicia's happy-go-lucky attitude was not enough to battle the relentless bullying she was fighting within the walls of our school, she said. Felicia's last email in the week before her passing expressed to her school that her and her friends were being bullied, that laws were present to protect them, and that they were breaking the law by not taking action, she added. This is... Mm, mm, mm. Who then uh, the mom shared the voicemail that we listened to. Unless you're me, while well, you're listening to uh, unless you're me, while well, you're listening to this from the future, the baby said, say hello to future mom, future dad, future everyone. Never, 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 never be bad. Never give up, give up on your friends. Never, ever be a bully. <laughs> on February 8th, school superintendent Robert Mungo wrote a letter confirming a student's death without mentioning the name and self-deletion attempt inside the building. Well, it wasn't an attempt. It was a success. Oh, dear Mount Holly School community, today we learn of the passing of one of our students. This tragic news impacts the entire school community, the letter said. Our priority is to provide support and direction during this difficult time, extremely difficult time. We will continue to work as an administrative team alongside our board and staff to respond to our school community needs. You need to do it in advance of stuff like this. All this is nice. It's the right words. But if this is going to continue to happen, then it means nothing at the end of the day. Mongo also provided websites and phone numbers for mental health and counseling services. Is no one concerned with the fact that stuff like this keeps happening in these schools to these babies and what type of what effect it's going to have on them as they develop and grow and become adults? I'm not no doctor. I ain't no psychiatrist. But it's common, it's, it's like common sense is really out the effing window. Nobody is, nobody cares. The only thing that matters are these damn kids. Till they turn into gremlins. People don't want to parent their kids. Teach them the difference between right and wrong. Leave effing people alone. Do what the heck it is that you're supposed to do. Bring your punk ass home. It's really not that difficult. Why, why, so who's, why is no one saying, why is no one saying, why are there so many bullies? Why is no one in looking into the fact that there are so many bullies? During the March 15th school board meeting, Seth Turner said his daughter was a close friend of Felicia, one of the brightest kids I have ever known. And that before her death, my daughter confided in me that Felicia was being bullied by other members of her class. Why are those people's names not in here? What's going to happen to them? What's going to happen with them? Nothing. I failed to convey this information to any teachers or staff in time for anything to be done, and I need to apologize for this, he said. On no response to the death of an 11-year-old can ever be truly adequate, our response to this tragedy so far has been pathetic. Turned. Turner continued, Felicia deserves better. She deserves a full investigation. 
She deserves a full accounting and she deserves truth. And I hope that we can give it to her. He added. A change.org petition calls for the release of a surveillance video near the bathroom where Felicia was found. I hope at least the mom got to see it. So that you can definitely confirm that no one was in there or went in there. Because I don't put nothing past bullies. Not nah, nothing. Got to be, you got to be checking up on your kids. You got to be in tune with them. But, to pe but too many parents is too busy uh, being slores out on TikTok worrying about what your follower count look like. The most important thing in the world is your damn kids if you're going to have them and they just having them to, for ornamental reasons. Not bringing them up, complaining about what you can't get because you got kids. I'm tired. <sighs> the school administration didn't listen the first 50 times. Maybe they're ready to hear us now. This bullying needs to stop. There need to be consequences for their action, Alana said. This tragic end makes no sense and could have been prevented, she said. It is now my life's mission to make sure her legacy lives on and these tragic stories are given a voice. No parent should have to get that call. I agree. The school board has declined comment amid the ongoing investigation. A memorial service was held for Felicia's dad two days before she was found. In a heartfelt tribute on Twitter, New Jersey, New Jersey Transit Police and Melendez's outstanding police work shined, and he was later assigned to a plain closed capacity. As a plainclothes officer, Melendez helped to protect your travels as he blended amongst the traveling public. The countless actions he took always served to ensure your safety. Felicia was found in the bathroom just three days after Adriana Olivia Cush, a 14-year-old freshman at Central Regional High School in Bayville, New Jersey, deleted her, self deleted herself after being assaulted by classmates and receiving a taunting text about the brutal beatdown. Y'all, check on your kids, please. Parent your children. <sighs> mm, mm, mm. They have a self-deletion um, number here. I'll make sure that it's in the description, even though I already have it. I'm going to update it to this stuff, too. I didn't know that you could do... Uh, you can dial the 24 dash. I'm sorry, you can dial the 24-7 National Self-Deletion Prevention Hotline at 988, which I'm assuming is on your cell phone or go to um, the word preventionlifeline.org. I'll put it in the description. If you all made it this far, I appreciate you. Please consider subscribing. I will see you all in the next one.